How to pass a tobacco test. Tobacco tests are generally performed by screening for cottonine, since nicotine leaves the body fairly quickly. Cottonine usually stays in your system for about a week. You can learn to give yourself the best chance to pass these screens and stay off nicotine afterward, if you want to keep going with what you've started. Passing the screen. Make sure the tobacco test is being performed legally. While South Carolina is the only state that has outlawed tobacco screens entirely. Click here for a state-by-state -state breakdown of tobacco screening laws. Understand how the screen works. Tobacco tests are usually performed by screening for cottonine, and are usually some combination of mouth swabs, urinalysis, and blood testing. Cottonine has a half-life of 16 hours, meaning that half of all the trace leaves your body every 16 hours, or so. If you're a light smoker, most of it should be gone in 48 hours, depending on how much you smoke, but most tests will pick up trace amounts, especially in the mouth swab. Cottonine tests screen for smokable as well as smokeless tobacco, including vape pens and other e-cigarettes. Stop using all kinds of tobacco at least 5 to 7 days before the test. Depending on how much you smoke, there's no way of knowing how much time you'll need to be all the way in the clear, but with the right combination of techniques, you can be fairly confident that you'll pass if you stop using any kind of nicotine 3 to 4 days before your test for lighter smokers and 5 to 7 days for heavier smokers. Read the next section to learn how to quit for a week, or more. If you smoke in excess of a pack a day, may need to quit smoking farther out ahead of your test. It can't ever hurt to stop earlier, if possible. If you're a social smoker, or only smoke occasionally, just make sure you quit a few days leading up to the test and you should be fine. Flush out your system by drinking diuretics. Anytime you've got to pass a urine screen and you're worried about cutting it close, start increasing the amount of fluids you're drinking throughout the day. Drink plain filtered water. It's good to drink as much as 2 liters per day, or about half a gallon, to keep your body flushing itself regularly. Drink warm water with a little bit of lemon in it. To break it up, try warm water with garlic, leeks, or ginger to help your body eliminate fluids. Drink lots of herbal tea, containing ginger, dandelion root, juniper, which have natural diuretic properties. Drink lots of natural cranberry juice. Most commercial drinks labeled cran something or other are really low in actual cranberry juice and high in sugar and apple. If you can, try to get real cranberry juice that's 100% cranberry for the best diuretic effect. Don't blow money on detox drinks. Go to any head shop and you can find a variety of expensive beverages that all guarantee you can pass any drug or tobacco screen and keep smoking right up to the test. Read the ingredients. These drinks are usually just some combination of fruit juices and electrolytes that you'll pay an arm and a leg for, which won't be any more effective than drinks you can get for free, or for much cheaper. Use some smarts and avoid throwing money away on these drinks. Blame secondhand smoke. If trace amounts show up on your screen, it is possible to blame a smoky bar, a smoky band practice, or other possible secondhand smoke encounters, although this may conflict with prior questionnaire information that you may have filled out in anticipation of the test. Most cottonine screens are performed in the workplace for insurance purposes. If a trace amount showed up, you can usually get out of it pretty easily with an excuse like this. If you smoke the day of the test, the amounts will be much higher, though, and you won't be able to blame secondhand smoke for that. You still need to quit, for a few days at least.